Welcome everyone to the ninth episode of World of Warcraft Treasure Trove, a series where I will show you collectibles such as transmogs, pets and other collectibles for your collection, or for gold farming. In this episode we will talk about a few grey quality transmogs and a pet that you can farm daily, which can also make you a good amount of gold. We can call this a gold making guide, however, there are some prerequisites needed, so let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is to be a Venthyr Covenant. Covenants were introduced in the Shadowlands expansion. At pretty much the beginning of the storyline, you'll have to choose a Covenant, which you will then complete a campaign for. Each Covenant has four constructions you can build. These are Anima Conductor, Transport Network, Mission Table, and the last one depends on your Covenant, but for this guide we don't need to bother with this. We will focus on the transport network, which you need to upgrade to rank 3. To upgrade it, you need anima and redeemed souls, which you can farm through various ways throughout Shadowlands. Once you upgrade the transport network, you will have to complete a small questline, which unlocks your mirrors throughout a Revendreth. Once you are done with this part, you are pretty much done with everything. Almost. You need at least 30 infused rubies a day to purchase a handcrafted mirror repair kit from Simone at the Venthyr base. When you have at least 3 of the repair kits, you need to find the broken mirrors. These are scattered across Revendreth and are pretty hidden. They also spawn daily in a group of 3 and there are 4 different groups. Luckily, Wowhead has figured everything out already, so we just have to find at least one broken mirror, and then we know where other mirrors are spawned. I will leave the link to the Wowhead post and the locations of the groups of broken mirrors in the description below. Now that we know how this system works, what can we get from it? Well, first of all, you can get a recolor of a renowned transbox set for Ventir, as well as some back transmogs and also a mount. These you can sell though. However, I am here to tell you about the stuff you can sell. The first thing you can get is a pet called Stony, which is this small dreadwing pup. Then there are three grey quality transmog items you can get. These are sturdy pitchfork, rusty hand sickle and a faintly smoldering torch, which is the most expensive one. These have a pretty high chance of dropping, according to our head. The percentage is around 8%. This is a pretty safe gold farm in my opinion, since if you don't get the transmox, you will get many stonies, which also sell pretty well. The transmox sell for a good price too, but it will take a while, so I don't recommend having more than 3 of each to not waste space in your bags. And if you are sending them to your bank alt, do as you wish. In case you are wondering, this is how much the items go for on my realm, EU Silvermoon, which is one of the more populated realms. Thanks for watching the video, good luck with your new gold farm and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and as they say, next time for sure.